good morning sir uh, today i am going to present on comparative study of fibrin glue versus autologous blade for conjunctival autograft fixation in primary pterygium surgery so there is no financial disclosure in this study and it is approved by ic and src and coming to brief introduction about pterygium which is a wing shaped triangular encro encroachment of subconjunctival tissue into the cornea and which occurs due to exposure may, uh, mostly due to exposure to uv rays and which is seen most commonly nasally and there are mainly three clinical gates grade 1 where the pterygium tissue is reaching the limbus grade 2 between limbus and pupillary margin and grade 3 which reaches pupillary margin or crosses to opposite side and uh, it is seen with a prevalence of 0.7 to 33% globally and it is common in our part of world due to excessive uv light hot and dry climate especially in rural areas and since there is no medical management for this treatment it needs surgical removal uh, various surgical options available are excision of pterygium followed by base clear technique which is not followed nowadays due to 88% recurrence and uh, one other is amniotic membrane grafting and conjunctival limbal aftograft and this conjunctival limbal aftograft can be done either with sutures or fibrin glue or with autologous blade and coming to brief procedure in fibrin glue the auto autograft was added to the underlying scleral bed by the glue uh, in autologous bed the blood either oozing from the fractured vessels or the capillary is purposefully purposefully fractured in the scleral bed and allowed to form a clot and over this al uh, formation of clot this autograft was placed and uh, coming to aim of this study to evaluate surgical outcomes following clag with fibrin glue and with aut autologous blade and objectives of this study are to study efficacy of clag fixation with fibrin glue and with autologous blade and to compare post operative complications and to study in terms of cost effectiveness and this study is conducted in the department of cornea chenkar foundation eye hospital and institute visakhapatnam with a study population of uh, 190 patients divided into two groups group a 95 patients with fibrin glue and group b 95 patients with autologous blade and it is a prospective interventional study which is conducted from june 2022 to may 2023 with patients followed on post operative day 1 7 30 and 90 so this study included the uh, patients with primary pterygium of both sets who are aged above 16 years of age and patients with grade 2 and grade 3 nasal pterygium and this study excluded the patients with bipolar or recurrent or pseudo pterygium and patients who are having glaucoma patients with any ocular surface diseases and patients with previous history of ocular surgery or trauma so coming to the results and observation of this study uh, according to the age it was most commonly found in the age group of 46 to 60 years of age with the 62% of the, uh, 62% prevalence and it was most commonly found in the uh, left eye uh, with the 52% and it is most commonly seen in the males with the 66% and uh, uh, coming to the occupation it was most commonly found in outdoor workers which included manual laborers as well as farmers with 72% compared with only 28% which was found in indoor workers and so this is the final slide which is uh, uh, comparison uh, between two groups that is uh, post operative complications comparison between fibrin glue and autologous blade these are the uh, complications which are compared graft lust edema post op granuloma infection uh, hemorrhage under the graft uh, recurrence and graft dislodgement so in these two groups hemorrhage was found in 27% in fibrin glue and 31% in uh, fibri uh, autologous blood and the recurrence was not not uh, noted in this study as the follow up period was only for 3 months uh, so number of patients studied in this uh, uh, number of patient studies was 190 and uh, age group of 45 to 60 years were more commonly affected that is with 55% and males were more commonly affected when compared to females with 67% and outdoor workers were more commonly affected when compared with indoor workers with 72% so complications noted were slightly higher in autologous group but no significant difference was uh, present between the two groups which is correlating with the studies so coming to the uh, final conclusion of the study the economical factor and post operative discomfort which is seen with fibrin glue was reduced uh, reduced with the use of autologous blade and autologous blade was as effective as fibrin glue in the treatment of primary pterygium surgery